Let's talk about what sea creatures you can and should not touch in the Pacific Northwest, starting with sea anemones. You can gently touch most species, but if it's red, it could be a fish-eating anemone, which can sting your fingers. A relative of the sea anemone, the jellyfish, can also sting. Never touch a lion's mane jelly, which looks like this, and even washed-up jellies can still sting. Generally, these clear moon jellies are fine for you to touch. If you know how to handle crabs, then you can do so carefully, but they will pinch you. Beware of these red rock crabs, and learn from my mistake, never pick up a granular claw crab. Always hold crabs close to the ground and be very gentle. Animals like limpets that stick onto rocks should never be peeled off of rocks. If you find one that's fallen off, you can try to help it find a new home. However, forcing them off can be very damaging. Soft-bodied animals like sea slugs are also very fragile, so I advise admiring them without touching. And you should never need to touch one. Same thing goes for worms, they'll easily split in half. Brittle stars, like their name and tails, are very fragile, and so are any other tiny animals. Finally, some spiny-skinned animals like sea urchins. You can gently hold urchins, but their spines will break if you aren't careful. And they do have tube feet, so if they don't want to budge, please don't pull them off. Same thing goes for sea stars. Never rip them off of rocks, and be careful with sea stars because if they look sick, they might have sea star wasting disease, and you do not want to spread that around. This is a good place to start, but there's so much more to learn. 